Okay, you see me and you guys are doing well. Do do do. We are live. Hey, I'm gonna upload this to uh, Facebook mm -hmm. later on. Um, I did make a post earlier for people to like and subscribe and follow the live feed to see what's going on and what's happening. And I'm gonna see if I can add some people. So while I'm doing that, um, do 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 do. We'll see how many other people pop in while I'm. <laughs> While I'm adding participants or whatever we have to do here to uh, share this on the Facebook. The facing of the book. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Send feedback. No. Where did it go? Do, do, do. Okay. All right. Fuck chat participants. That just me. Okay. I'm still going. I'm getting used to the YouTube thing, so I appreciate everybody's patience with me while I get this uh, rolling. Do do do. Uh, share it and see that right there. I'll oh, say something. Bling. I said nothing. I just clicked the arrow. Anyway, we'll get started with a review and then I'll tag Facebook later and we'll go from there. I did make a post earlier, let people know that we we're going to be doing the review for Primitive Vape Co. Okay. So we have the, you guys have seen the, uh, the pick. These are the flavors that Primitive Vape Co. sent out for me to review. Bam. And I'm going to go over them, and then we're going to pop them, taste them on the finger, and then vape them. And with every bottle of delicious juice, we're going to put in fresh cuttings, which I've already got the cotton ready to go. And we're ready to vape at 50 watts. Boop, boop. You see? And this is a swallow tail RDA, uh, with an RDA on, so poor RDA. I had this RDA for quite a long time. It's still popping off clouds. Standard clapped into his coil. Nothing. Spectacular, fancy, easy to use. All right. So, berry milk pie. That is this flavor. And then we have banana granola. Ooh, banana granola. And then we have 180 degrees prism. We also have the 180 degrees. Uh, oh, no, that was it. That was it, 180 degree prism. And then we have pistachio baklava by Primitive Vape Co. It was called Flaked. <clears throat> and then the namesake of this is Skipper Milk Pie. Buttermilk Pie. And Vestige. Ooh, vestige. All right. So I'm going to start with the berry milk pie, just because it's in order of how I have them set up for whatever reason. My order. <laughs> Give it a shake. All of these have three nicotine. I believe the mixes are 70-30 blends. Let's see if it says around there. Three milligram. Yeah. All right. Let's give it a taste. Let's see how it tastes. Oh, wow. Strawberry people. Ow! And the pie is like a back note on first taste, but there's definitely pie. This is going to be interesting. You know how it tastes on the finger and how it tastes in the mod. It's not always the same, as I say repeatedly, over and over and over, and over with all my videos, but it's true. So I'm my cotton soaked up here with juice and my nice clean RDA and new cotton. Give it a little tap just to give the coils a little preheat to soak up that juice without burning the cotton. Oh yeah. <clears throat> and I accidentally turned it off. <laughs> there we go. Let's get out of vapor. The pie filling really pops out on that. It's got a decent taste to it. 
the, the strawberry is a light strawberry, but you get the sweetness in your jaws. I like that. Uh, so it's not an overpowering strawberry. It does let that kind of pie taste, crumb almost. In the back, do I have that shit? So it's good. It's okay. And the nicotine is not harsh on it. Oh, uh, it's a very, this is very smooth. Way to go, Primitive Vaco. That is nice. <laughs> you like stronger than me? I do. It's at 50 watts right now. Yeah. Yeah. She's got a pen device that she really loves. It's a Soren iShare and it's refillable. So I, I, I'm a flavor chaser myself. So I like to switch flavors and do different things like that. She also has a stick mod that she really likes. And that thing, I think, pumps at 50 watts, if I'm not mistaken. Is it? Yeah. The Risa, so stick is, than mine. the Risa stick, I believe, is set at 50 watts normally. But her coil is rated for 30 to 60. So. And that doesn't choke me. But that doesn't choke her. But my RDA. I limit some of the airflow in it. I didn't think it is. So that tastes really good. That strawberry comes out and it's nice. The more you hit it, the more the strawberry starts to saturate. That's pretty cool, man. So that's definitely a win. That is a win flavor. I should probably cap it before I put it back in the box. Huh? <laughs> okay. That is the berry milk pie. And that is definitely berry and pie. With the, uh, I don't know, I didn't really didn't get the creaminess to it, but um, I definitely got the pie gross. That pie flavor is like pop. Yeah. All right, on to the next. This is the bananas granola, and they call it they call it banola. Banana. So you can see it, banola. It's backwards. Mm -hmm. Use your hypersensitive skills to read backwards. Mm. I will pop the Oops. primitive the vehicle. Part? Uh, berry milk pie. Okay. This is banola. Banola, 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 banola. Give it a shake. So I'm assuming we're going to taste bananas and granola. Hmm. I've tried a lot of vapes. I'm going to tell you off rip. This is interesting. The nicotine's kindly flavorful, yeah. but the uh, that's because I taste it on the finger. That's just how that goes. But the the banana is like pow, and it's not like that candy runts banana. It's like a sweetened, well ripe banana, like a ripe. That would be the easiest way to put it, like a ripe banana, yeah. and. The granola's in the background big time on that. That's, uh, yeah. I really didn't get, I got the sweetness of the bananas off of it. But then tasting it on the finger, once again, you got to try a little bit of both. I like to do both uh, and just kind of see how the flavors meld. And meld together. Melded flavors. And when you vape them, that's when a lot of the flavor profiles come out. You know, the, the background notes you don't normally taste. In some juices, not all juices. Some of them are just, they taste the same way on the finger that they do in the mod. And that is rare. <laughs> but it does happen. And it has happened with a few juices that we've reviewed in the past. If you haven't seen all our other videos, of course, don't feel like a troll. Go through my lines and videos and stuff like that. And watch the videos. See the other reviews for other products and companies that we've reviewed. And uh, leave your honest opinions and thoughts. For show, tell us, tell me. If you think I'm wild and crazy and wacky and I'm a nut, tell me that too. I don't care. It's wild and crazy and a nut. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For now, we're going to go with the banola nuts. Mm -hmm. Granola nuts and the banana. banana. And the banana. Banana. Mm -hmm. banana. 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 Mm -hmm. Banana. Okay. Getting my fresh cotton in there. Juiced up. I should probably do all that so you guys can see it a little better. I got a feeling this nicotine in this vape hit is going to be kind of, yeah, that's definitely going to be there because I smelled it right away when I fired it. And oh, I don't want to let the cat out of the bag. Stay in the bag, cat. Well, hello, kitty. Okay. I'm so rotten. Get rid of Ooh. And like I say, sometimes when you taste it on your finger, Sometimes when you taste something on your finger and then you vape it in the device, you get a whoa. 
You get a whoa moment. Ha! Mm. <laughs> whoa. Holy whoa. Holy whoa. Shayla. Mm -hmm. Complete granola explosion. Yeah. Banana. Back road. <coughs> yep. Oh. That's a back Gross. note in the middle of the cornfield, uh, uh, yes. you know, in the bypass of the holler. You don't see it coming. Mm. But that granola is That's the crazy. deer in the road. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's good. But it's it good, is too, good. if you it's like your granola good. kind of flavor. Because that one honey granola that we tried, the honey was a star in the granola, and it was pretty even. And uh, that was... If you guys didn't see that review, we've got a honey granola review mm -hmm. from Yogi that we reviewed. You guys definitely want to check that out. Uh, that brand Ooh. was really good, yeah. but that was more of an even kind of textured flavor. And this mm -hmm. is like a granola with the banana flavoring. Like if I was to get a granola that. travel bar or something, where you get a gravel tr uh, granola travel bar or something, you know, and yeah. you crunch into it and you're like, oh, granola. And then you get those little hints of banana. That's what that but is. On your finger, it's banana. It's smoking. But on your finger, it's like straight ripe banana. Banana. Like you just like you look at that brown and yellow. Yeah, it's like cool as crap. Saggy like looking banana in the yeah. basket. And you're like, I don't know if I should eat that. And you taste, and you're like, oh, this is sweet and delicious. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm not too proud to eat a slightly rotted banana. You know what I mean? Like you can cut it up in little slices mm. and hit it with a little cream. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, we, you know, and just enjoy it. It's a good breakfast. All right, so that was really good. That's actually my favorite so far. I like that one better than the berry. Banola. So if you're looking for a granola kind of banana flavored vape, that is, that's next level there, man. That granola just really popped out. Mm -hmm. All right, get the cotton out to get the new cotton in. Pull it up so you guys can see what I'm doing. I always give it a little fire. You know, if it's once it looks like the coils are caked a little bit, give them a little fire, get them nice and cherry, go catch them fire. No, it's kind of my ammo. The next flavor we're going to be doing is the 180 degrees prism, which will be interesting. Do, 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 do. Because it doesn't really say a flavor or what? It doesn't have a flavor on it. It just says prism. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be fun because I have no clue. That's my favorite thing about doing vape reviews when I do them. I don't like to like cheat and look at other people's reviews and comments and posts and things like that. When a company sends me juice, I do what I try to be the, the most uninfluenced opinion I can possibly give. <laughs> so I don't want, I don't want to give you somebody else's opinion. I want to, pop open the box, not know about too much about the company in some instances and just go with it. And that's what I'm doing with this brand. I, I everyone tells me I should know who primitive vape co is. And I may have talked to them and met them in different trade shows and events and different things. And, you know, um, but I meet a lot of people and sometimes I forget who I met and who they represented, yeah. you know, unless, yeah. unless they call me constantly and we have a built that rapport, you know, and then I remember them when they call me and they're like, Hey Carmen. And I'm like, Oh man. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> but I recollect. <laughs> Write the flavors yeah. down. Mm -hmm. So, but the lines that we, the lines that I vape that I like, you know, I don't just like, I like to tell everybody that watches my reviews looking for juices. Uh, yeah. I've been vaping for a while now. People tell me that I'm pretty much on point with my flavor taste and profiles and stuff like that, but you've got to vape it yourself. You have to try these yourself. If you've never tried them. Uh, at some point, if you really want to taste it and try it, taste it and try it. Don't just get something based on my opinion, you know, because something I might like, something I might dislike, you might really love, you know, and everybody's taste palette is a little different, you know. But for sure, by any means and by all means, if you come into my store and I have tasters from reviews, ask me about it. I'll whip it out so you can try it. And that's the best way. And then people were like, man, I really like that. When are you getting it in stock? Well, since you like it, I'm getting it. <laughs> that's pretty much how it goes in my store. Most of the juices in my store from people saying, we like that, we want it. Yes. And I'm like, we're going to get it. So, but this is always the first step. I try them. 
and taste them. And then I come up with my favorites and then the customers try them and give me their favorites. And ultimately my opinion doesn't really matter because I get what the customer wants. <laughs> and it just so happens at least 60, 40, what I like somebody else likes, maybe 70, 30. I don't know. Maybe it's higher. I'm, I really don't have a census on that. I'm just making up numbers, as yeah, you can tell. <laughs> yeah, you are. Okay. So I'm juicing these up real nice. Just kind of going on the fly here. Prism. <laughs> Midnight Bug is about to have their hands full <laughs> with this one. Mm. Stripes bubblegum. You guys ever yes. had the multiple stripes yes. with the zebra on it with all the different flavors? Yes. That's it. Yep. And there's it. see all the colors in it? That's it. There's your hint. Mm -hmm. What do they call that in uh in journalism or whatever? Foreshadowing. <laughs> Foreshadowing. <laughs> it looks like the striped gum right on the package. Didn't even notice it. Okay, but I'm going to vape it because you never know. Mm -hmm. Remember that one flavor that we had by Caterpillar that was uh, the mystery flavor? And the, as you change the temperatures, the flavors changed. Right. We're going to try that now. Let's mm -hmm. see if PRISM is an acronym for changing color spectrums by uh, changing wattage. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're at 50 watts right now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to lower it to 40 for our first vape. Yeah. Now we'll do 35. Just to give it again. Yeah, so we give it a true review on that different... 35 watts. I don't know if you guys can see it or not because my camera and flashy number thingies don't work out very well. It's at 40, 35 watts right now. 35.0. 0. 0. 0.21 ohms mm -hmm. and 2.76 volts. Or, yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's go. I'm barely even hit. Okay. So at 35 watts, it's not a heavy hit. Flavor is very uh, strawberry-ish. Is it at a lower at a lower wattage? I think. So maybe pick up any other flavors. Maybe cherry. Maybe cherry. Let's bump cherry. it up. Yeah. Bump it. Going higher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so we'll go to the other side. We'll double the wattage to uh, 70. Mm -hmm. Sheila's probably not going to want to hit this one. Probably not if it's 70. Let me choke it down. Yeah. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> choke me out. I'm I choke you out. You like it? I choke, me out. I choke you. You like a throw action? <laughs> yes. Welcome to my anime dungeon. Yeah. 50 yeah. Shades of Vape. <laughs> huh it's more of a mixed berry no yeah we're at 75 now. watts <clears throat> with the striped gum and it's it's more like the striped gum with the mixed flavors mm -hmm. mixed fruit flavors and the nicotine mm -hmm. stands out the higher the wattage you go with this flavor the nicotine kicked nicely which is good. If you're a vapor, you used to be a smoker, we long for that throat hit. <laughs> I do anyway. I like that. That's how I know I'm actually hitting something, you know? And that's my residual memory from cigarettes, you know? You knew you were smoking. No question. <laughs> it's heavier. And I tell people, if, if you're not used to higher wattages... You know, because a lot of people, they, they think that vaping is about the clouds and the chasing clouds and the boom in the clouds. And for some people, it is. It is what it is, right? But for, for people who are just getting started into vape, don't try that 60, 70, 80 watt hit off rip, okay? You're going to annihilate your throat. It's going to turn you away from vaping. It, it can. You'll be like, oh. And their first memory is choking and coughing. Kind of like the day when you smoked your first cigarette. True enough. Mm -hmm. However, the residual in the throat feeling and all that with vape is different. And it's, uh, I, I don't recommend starting out at a higher wattage. You will eventually get to that point through vaping where, you know, you become accustomed to the vape and you can vape at higher temperatures. But to start 35, 40, 50 watts max, you know, 
uh, as my suggestion. Yeah. It's my suggestion. Yeah. You know, a lot of starter vapors. <laughs> that's why starter kits are much right. lower wattages. You know, you don't want to give somebody, you know, here's 240 watts. <laughs> and they're like, <laughs> you know, and never and potentially die in your store in front of you. That's yeah. not cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to turn this bad boy back down. Get his eyes strong. Yeah. Okay. So. That is the 180 Prism, and it really does have that fruity taste to it, like that striped gum um, on the finger. And when you put it into the mod, just the flavors are not as strong, of course, on the finger as they are in the device, but they are definitely there. <clears throat> Where is the box? I put the box. I have moved the box. Okay. Who cares? I'll find the next one. I'll find the box. Mm -hmm. I have a habit of dropping boxes. It'll be sitting right in front of me. And I don't want it. See, see, like uh, one ID did not have one. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it had a box. That one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right here. I'll put the lid on it. Thick. Mm -hmm. All right. There we go. There's its box. On to the next flavor, mm -hmm. which is flaked pistachio baklava. I like baklava. I don't think I've had a pistachio baklava before. Mm -hmm. So this will be hella interesting. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pull my cotton while I'm doing that. Go ahead and give that a shake and then open the top and taste it. While you're doing that, I'm going to pull the cotton from the device. Pull the cotton. All right, little residual yeah, strands no, of cotton. Uh, <laughs> fruit, fruit stripe gum. Mm. Coils cherry. Oh, fire, This is as good as mm, like the cappuccino coffee flavors and stuff. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. She said cappuccino coffee flavors. Like it is as good as the taste. Like you taste it. It is very flavorful. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Very oh. nice. On the fingers, so let's see. Mm -hmm. And they've all got nicotine in it already. Yep. So yeah, it's not change. Mm -hmm. So it tastes really good. And that's a good test for your coils, you know, to make sure that they're cool enough for your cotton to go in them. Just touch them with your finger. And uh, if, if they're cool, it doesn't burn. And if they are, then hey, it smells like chicken for a brief second. <laughs> when you burn your skin, it smells like delicious chicken. Yeah. <laughs> uh, by the way, there is age restrictions with this video. If you're 18 or under or not of legal smoking age, you shall vacate the page. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please and thank you. <clears throat> Nicotine is an addictive chemical. This is a juice review. Juice review. Here yes. we go. All right. Since we run the bake shop. Mm -hmm. Pistachio baklava. You can taste it really. You really hit it when you said coffee on the finger. Some type of coffee type flavor. You should really hit that. Like a mocha a cappuccino thing that we got. Yeah, on. like the mocha cappuccino almost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All really right. I'm curious yeah. to see how it's going to vape. It's a flavor. It's very good. I do taste like a nut kind of flavor. Yeah. A nutty, there's a nuttiness to it. You can taste the, uh, the nuts in the background of them. Yeah. And there's definitely the sweetness of the sugariness of the yeah. baklava. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I get the pistachio now. It is like sugar coated pistachio. Yeah. It is. Here's the lid to that. I'm going to make sure that is nice and juiced for you because. Yeah, let me see. So you can get a fair hit on mm -hmm. that. Before I put the next, uh, put three juices through this uh, RDA, I am going to take a Q tip in it, clean it again. <clears throat> Here's the lid. My scissors got some more fresh cut in. And this is uh, the organic Japanese cotton squares that we're using. Here. 
you have questions about mm, the type of cotton that we're using. Straight open. Yeah. Yeah. Pistachio. <laughs> <coughs> oh yeah, I can talk. <laughs> Here's a lid to that one, but yeah, the yeah the air vents gonna go. Boom! I like the airflow when I vape. Yeah. And uh, I've only got one side of my RDA open, not both. <laughs> well, we get them some fresh cotton together. Again, it's the Japanese organic cotton squares. That same ones that we sell in the store. Also, the cotton bacon is also my other favorite cotton. If you'd like to know my contents, there's no secrets. I will share and let you guys know what I use and how I use it and so on. All right. Q-tip. Q-tips are fundamental for keeping your RDA nice and clean during review processes. Gets all that residual juice out. And then when you give it a random firing, it'll burn off any residual juices. You know, because I think that keeping your cotton clean keeps your <clears throat> juices flavors from being muddled. Mm -hmm. You know, like it would have been terrible to taste fruit with the next one, which would have been flaked. That would have been just nasty. And it would have messed up the review pretty good. And I always keep black coffee on hand. Black coffee is a natural palate cleanser and nasal cavity cleanser. That's why you go to perfume shops and stuff and you always got like little things of coffee for you to sniff. You catch me in there sniffing. I'm just crunching little coffee beans. I'm like, what are you doing, sir? Mm. And I'm cleansing my palate. Mm. I'm like, you ate three containers of our coffee. Security! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, just playing out this show. That would be funny as hell, though, wouldn't it? The guy just comes in and just starts eating their random coffee beans. Crunch, 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 crunch. But like, can I help you? No, I got what I came in here for. <laughs> <laughs> I did see a video from uh, <laughs> one of my Facebook friends with Green Lake Vapor. Or somebody came into a store and I guess grabbed the bottle of juice and just turned up the whole bottle, drank it more. <laughs> from his tasters. I was like, really? <laughs> that was a hilarious video. I think that, that went a little viral, too. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Uh, we have a taster table here as well, of course, uh, in our store. And most people are pretty respectful with stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like, they'll, they'll ask for help more often than not. You know? People are really... For the most part, good people. People are people, man. I'm a people, so you know. Every now and then, though, you do get those weirdos. <laughs> Can I snort it? No, no, sir. You cannot snort that. Mm -hmm. Like, here's an iced menthol. Try that one. Snort that. Mm -hmm. Clear it up for a week. All right. On to the next flavor. This is Skipper Milk Pie. I see the picture. Really hoping this doesn't taste like squid. <laughs> that was a sailor. Yeah, what was it called? That was a sailor joke. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> there's, a, there's an octopus on it. It's called what, to skipper? A squid. You know, like greenhorn? Skipper. I don't know. Oh, it's called skipper milk pie. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to taste like. Mm. So this is going to be as interesting. Long as it's not fishy. Yeah, as mm. long as. <laughs> like, oh my goodness, that is an amazing ass cargo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, finger. I'll try that first. Okay, you do it. Mm. Oh my gosh. It's not fish. I had no clue the octopus could taste so good. <laughs> her face before she stuck her finger in her mouth. She's like. <laughs> it's not it's not at all bad. it's uh i can't put my finger on the creamy it's a creamy taste but i can't put my finger on that flavor mm. hmm so it's a lot of vanilla it's almost like a meringue pie yeah like a, a uh, that's what it reminds me of mr meringue Mm. By Pachima. Mm -hmm. That's what it reminds me of. Without as much, without uh, the stronger lemon. Oh no, he did it. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. Yes, yes, I did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I 
All right, we're going to vape it. <laughs> it tasted really good, though, on my finger. Like, I, I'm not taking that away. Not There's really a good. serious sweetness with it. It does taste like almost like a um, an egg cream mang meringue kind of pie taste on the finger. Let's see how it vapes, see if we get that. The crustiness, yeah. Very light tasting vape. Very light, smooth, fluffy cloud kind of vape. Yeah. And that pie crust kind of sticks it. around. It gets a little stronger. Good. Does it? Give me a drink. <laughs> I've got some much going on in my mouth right now. I'm getting funny. Yeah, that pie flavor is like there. That's like creamy. That is like creamy meringue pie mm -hmm. without lemon. Yeah, without lemon. You know, like when I get a lemon cream, lemon meringue pie, I mean, that's what I was thinking, but it's not. It's like the meringue and the crust without the lemon. Right? This is this is a nice little ADV. You know, or in some cases, people say like a dessert vape uh, that is not super sweet. And that's why I called it an ADV. Yeah. To me, an ADV is something that you can vape all day long, all day vape, and not get tired of or say this is too sweet. Excuse me. And then just set it to the side. Right. You know, something you want to keep vaping. And that is, that's my new, that's, well, shoot, man, that's neck and neck with the berry pie. Yeah, yeah. Remember, berry pie is still my favorite. Mm -hmm. uh, favorite, favorite. It is. And this is like second so far. We're the wrong way. There we go. And mm -hmm. fortunately, it doesn't taste anything like octopus or squid. Okay, cool. All right. Mm -hmm. On to the next one. There we go. Vestige. Well, what do you have invested? Actually, I took them out of order. Buttermilk pie is next. Yes. And then Vestige. Yeah, buttermilk pie. I'm trying to keep them in order. With the all the milk. On yeah. Buttermilk pie. Buttermilk pie. Okay. Shake. And I'll have her open and taste it. Just save a little time while I replace the contents for the new flavor. That was really good. I can still taste the creaminess kind of flavor from that pie. I mean, I can't even say creaminess. It's not even really creamy. Why should you try this one? It's like meringue, yeah. like fluffy deliciousness. Um, spoiler alert. She was trying to spoil it. Let's do the spoiler alert thing. Um, do, it is do you like that one? This one's really good on my finger. Is it? Yes. Okay. I'm going to taste it with my finger in a minute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My mom never watches any of my reviews. I don't think that she really watches them. If she did, like, stop putting your fingers in your mouth. <laughs> Get a fork. Okay. Get a fork. Use the utensils. What's the matter with you children? Mm -hmm. Well, mom, sorry. Just being a guy. Should have been here a couple days ago. We were eating mud pies. Mm -mm. <laughs> Delicious mm -hmm. dirt. The things mm -hmm. kids do, you know? Anyway, all right. Buttermilk yep. pie. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. That is creamy. Yes. Super buttery. Like if you took like butter and added sugar. Wow. All right, let's vape it. <laughs> That's my favorite part. Did you guys catch on yet? That's my favorite part. Okay. I hope so. Because if they didn't, they really yeah. have not paid attention. You're the wrong channel. All right. <laughs> Change the channel. This guy's a goof. What do you got? Mm -hmm. 
mine. You don't even want to share now, do you? <laughs> That's so bad. Man. So bad. That is honestly a really unique buttery kind of flavor. A buttery flavor? Hell, if I didn't know any better, I would say they just stole the popcorn recipe and added cream and sugar. Mm. Popcorn lemon. <laughs> Buttermilk pie. Oh, that was a bad <laughs> joke. Uh, just in case nobody knows, <laughs> you're watching this. Popcorn lung is actually something that derived from um, the popcorn factories because they would soak the kernels in butter, and people who were working in those factories and stuff like that were breathing in that butter oil. It was and, oils. And it was causing their capillaries in their lungs to explode and actually created a, a, like a popcorn effect. A, a called like, popcorn in their lungs. In their lungs. So they yeah. called it popcorn lung, and it was from vaping butter flavoring, actually. Oils. Um, like oils Christo. from making the popcorn. Which is what a lot of people at the beginning of the vape industry said. Oh, you're going to get popcorn long. No, dude. We're not vaping corn and butter and stuff. Like, these are flavorings that are approved to be used. It's a different kind of oil. You know, it's a different kind. It's of cooking oil, oil mm -hmm. is what that was. Which, Which is the same thing that's kind of going on in the CBD industry like right now. Like, yeah. when people take tinctures and put tinctures into vape devices and vape yeah. them. And, they, and then... And then get and sick, and you they don't know why. It's because you that was bake tinctures. That was coconut oil. You're not supposed to bake yeah. coconut oil. You're not supposed to. Or MCT oil. Or right. The kind of kind oils of, that you can yeah. cook with. Any kind of oils that yeah, you can Yeah, that's with. not good for you. Don't do that. Bad vaping. Bad oil. Mm -hmm. Wrong type of oil. Mm -hmm. This tastes like this without the strawberry. Yeah. It's still my favorite. Because <laughs> the strawberry is an extra effect. Yeah. Otherwise, if this one wasn't here, this one would be my new favorite. The buttermilk pie? The buttermilk pie would be my new favorite. It's like when I read the... That is interesting. I did read the profiles. Oh, you before. read the profiles. Don't tell me the profiles. I never read the profiles. Well, I did before we even tasted them. Okay, like when we first got them. And the buttermilk pie is considered like a southern thing for sweet pie. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yep. Huh. That makes sense. It's what people call in the south a sweet pie. A sweet pie. Yeah. All right. On to the next one. Vestige. And they kind of let the cat out of the bag on this one a little bit. This one actually says key lime pie. You can actually read it pretty clearly on here. Uh... I'm going to read the rest of it. No, I'm not. <laughs> key lime pie. Dang it. Open it up and taste it and tell me if you taste key lime pie. I read the box, people. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> no, I'm not. I've had juices that I've vaped and it says one thing on the box and then I'll taste it on my finger and I'll put it in the mind. And I'm like, somebody really fuck this labeling up. <laughs> Excuse me, but you yeah, know, I swear, I'm so sorry if I've offended you with my f bomb, but I do that. Um, I'm a PR nightmare, unfortunately. Okay, sorry for using the f bomb. Fitter snickles. Fudge, fudge, fudge it, fudge it. This is live. I can't even bleep it. We say fudge. We don't say that. We say fudge because fudge, fudge is delicious and chocolatey. <gasps> Ah. Hey, look at that. This is called a manufacturing error. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oops. Oh, and I got it all over my pants. Oh, oh way to go. Oh, that's disgusting. Okay, and that much more down there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she just got a whole bunch of it all over the place. She's covered in oil. I leaked it. We're not trying to turn this into a porn. What are you doing with all that? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, kitty. Hello, kitty, kitty. Now you taste like key lime pie, kitty, kitty. You taste like key lime pie, kitty, kitty. <laughs> <laughs> somebody calling to complain. It was... <laughs> so he's calling to complain right now. Savage Enterprises. This will be great. We're going to take the call live. Are we? Yes, we are. <laughs> CCC Flavors, you're live on YouTube. Hi, may I speak with uh, Sheila? Uh, yes, you may. But you are live on YouTube. 
We're doing a juice review. Oh, and we figured okay. we would take I'm the so call. Sorry. It's a bad time then. Since, <laughs> since it's Savage back? Enterprise, we'll tell everybody your name. <laughs> this is Lupe over at Savage. <laughs> All right, Lupe. <laughs> we'll give Lupe right, a shout okay. out. And this is Carmen, actually. And you and I have spoke okay. before. And I will give you a call back after the video is concluded. This is for okay. Uh, I appreciate it. You're awesome. welcome, Lupe. Shout out to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Lupe. Okay. All right. Peace. Bye bye. Bye, bye sweetie. All right. Bye. If you call in while I'm live, will you, will get, live. you will go on live. Yes. Every time and one time we answered it, was it last week? We answered it doing Facebook. And it was like, uh, well, something about our car insurance. <laughs> that yeah. guy was really confused. Because <laughs> he kept going, telling me about my car warranty and insurance. Bad that idea. Crazy. I just wore that. Because uh, I don't have one of those. Uh, insurance things happen to me, so for my car, the car is bought and paid for a long time ago. Through I don't know, like oh, third hand, hand by now. Okay, so I'm gonna have another piece of cotton. But yeah, and she is covered yeah. in and juice. juice. And I'm gonna taste the juice and see what she tastes like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you want to taste it? No, no, I don't get it. I oh, wow, that's really good. <laughs> She's covered in a really good juice. It's, <laughs> it's, it's lickable. It's lickable juice. It's all right. It's key lime for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, sugar. <laughs> you get a lot of sugar in that. <sighs> I made my cotton too thick, so I'm going to pull it That was a lot of sugar. And a lot of nicotine, I just licked off my hands. Fluffing your cotton when you put it through mm. your coils makes a big difference in the way wow. that it absorbs juice. There's... Huh. Big, big deal on how it absorbs juice. So, do -do 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 -do. Lupe's going to be like, was I really live? I'm like, yes, you are live. And then she she'll go and she'll see the video and she'll be like, oh, man, I was. Mm -hmm. Like you were live, Lupe. Not to Lupe out all, all the time. She's so checking out YouTube that night. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're going on here. Boop. Okay, I'm almost done putting my fluffing my cotton. You want to fluff your cotton so it isn't all tight and stuff like that. So I call it the uh, the Shih Tzu braids. You know when you take the little the Shih Tzus and they put the little bows in their hair and they got little fluffies hanging on both sides. Yeah, we just tuck them down into the well. Mm. I thought a Shih Tzu was a dog. It is. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shih Tzu is a dog. Yep. But everybody, when I hear Shih Tzu, that's what I think about the little dogs with little fluffy bows and little fluffies everywhere. Yeah. You know. Those look like they should have a stick hanging out their butt so you could mop the floor in the room, <laughs> kitchen. They do. They're little, they're little mops. But they're cute. I mean, you know, when they put the little bow in their hair, they're cute little dogs. Don't hurt little dogs, but you get the idea. That's the joke. Anyway. Ugh. All right. Time to vape it. Ooh. Interesting. Cinnamon. Yeah. Did it say cinnamon? Uh, yeah, cinnamon uh, cookie, donut, cinnamon donut. Cinnamon donut. Yeah. It's a key lime pie and cinnamon donut. Yeah. I got the key and I got the cinnamon. The lime, not so much. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Brass cinnamon. <laughs> it's just, this is definitely not my favorite. Out of this whole line, this is not my favorite. This is like last. It's not bad. It's not horrible. But for my particular palate, the key lime is yeah. really, you know, yeah, strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's almost a bitterness to this juice with that cinnamon. Mm -hmm. That's not my favorite. Definitely not my favorite. Mm -hmm. But to get the key liminess, there's I don't really get a pie though. No. 
at all. It's like just a key lime. lime. You just like a key lime, like cream, lemon. Flavor, yeah. like yeah. flavor, not even like cream, just like mm-hmm. lemon filling, lemon lime filling with cinnamon, a lot of cinnamon. And sweetness, but not really like dough. So prestige, honest recommendation, maybe back to the flavor drawing board on this one a little bit yeah. with the with the lime and less cinnamon, more lime, less cinnamon maybe. Okay. I don't know, or more donut, definitely more, more donut. donut, definitely more donut, more donut, less cinnamon. You're talking about fat kids. Yeah, I'm fat I like desserts. <laughs> I didn't know I'm using desserts. Mm-hmm. We're going back to my favorite right quick. Because, yeah. With the strawberry one? Yeah, I'm going to finish out. Are we in there? I'm going to finish out the day with a strawberry. Just FYI. So my favorite out of this whole review was the berry milk pie. And it is by far, hands down, to me, my favorite. But once again, as I always like to say, you don't have to take my word for it. You can come to CCC Flavors in Dalton, Georgia, or call Primitive Ego. Or go on to their website, which I believe is primitivevapeco.com or primitivevapor.com. I'm going to pull up the website right now and tell you <laughs> just to make sure. I should have put it in the description. Maybe I'll do that later. Yeah, I'll do that later. Primitivevapeco.com. Primitivevaporco.com. Yeah. I will actually take that mm-hmm. hashtag, mm-hmm. copy. Yeah, I'm 18 and over. Mm-hmm. I will go ahead and I will put that in the comments mm-hmm. to say something. Paste. Mm-hmm. So it's actually in the comments right now. So you can go to primitivevapecode.com. You can order these juices for yourself and try them. Mm-hmm. Or you can come into CCC Flavors and try them. Either way, mm-hmm. fine with me. As long as and you I try them. I will be here to help you out. And Sheila will be here to help you with this and that. For the juices. For the juices. Mm-hmm. And for other juices. products we have in the store. Yeah, and other products. But we sell a lot of CBD mm-hmm. products as well. Um, mm-hmm. Yep. A lot of different CBD products. As CBD well as... Gummies. Mm-hmm. Very good. Cookies, candies, treats, you know, stuff and things. Flour. Lots of hemp flour. Some, you know, all of which with less than 0.3% THC. Blah, blah, blah. Yep, wonderful. We follow the rules. Follow the rules. Claim by the rules. You know, sometimes I don't mind it. I don't like rules. Rules are made to be broken. No, they're not. <laughs> She's like, no, they're not. not rules, are, rules are made to be broken, no matter where you are. Mm-hmm. Laws are not made to be broken. Rules, rules are made to be bent a little bit. Broken, smashed, mm-hmm. crashed, crashed. Okay, I said it out loud. Ooh, wee. Ooh-wee. Oh, that was so nice to go back to. That is a really nice flavor. That berry milk, that is my favorite. This has been an awesome review. A lot of great products. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> um, check them out for sure. Come in the store, check them out. As, as always, peace, love, chill, spread the good vapes and the good vibes, and we are out. We'll post this later on uh, Facebook. Like, comment, go to our page, uh, cccflavors.com. You can see all the products that we have available. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Anything else? Have a blessed day. Have a blessed day. Peace. We're out.